Before starting the build process, we have to verify that all the Yocto build dependencies are met. Be sure to have the packages installed based on the distribution of your build machine. We suggest verifying this on the official Yocto webpage, which is available in the description below. We also need to install two additional packages used by the HSS payload generator, libyaml-dev and libelf-dev. HSS is the zero-stage bootloader. You can find an extensive description of the HSS in the link below. These additional installs are for the distributions we suggest to use, Ubuntu 18.04 or later. In this video, we are using Ubuntu 20.04. Other distributions could require some additional packages to be installed. Now it is the time to source the setup script from the main folder. In case you are using a remote machine, you can use a tool like Tmux to help the remote session alive in case of a disconnection because the build process is usually lengthy. We have now moved to the build folder. The list of layers added can be found in bblayers.conf file. The actual configuration is local.conf. This configuration can be further customized by adding, for example, an extra tool to the image. We can add a TCP dump utility using the core image extra install variable that is inspected, but one of the core recipes. We can change the default folder for source tarballs download or for the S state. The S state cache allows us to have shorter builds by keeping the system from rebuilding packages that have not been touched since the last build. These folders usually become quite big, so you may want to move to a separate volume. We will leave them in the default location local to the build folder. Now we are almost ready to build. We suggest you verify that you have more than 100 gigabytes of free disk space. For a successful build, we have to define our machine target. For Icicle Kit booting from EMMC, we have to choose Icicle-Kit-ES. The machine variable can be stored in local.conf file or we can set it up on the command line within the build command. We use the second method here. The command line overrides the QEMU machine set by default in the local.conf file. We might want to customize the kernel def config before building by running machine equals icicle dash kit es bitbake dash c menu config virtual forward slash kernel. This process will start compiling the recipes needed for opening the kernel configuration menu, but we can also skip this step. Once we are happy with the configuration, we can finally build the development image. Note that we are not modifying the default configuration in this build. We also have to select which one of the predefined images we want to build. Here we have three options, core image minimal, core image full command line, and the development image. Let's build by typing machine equals icicle dash kit dash es bitbake mpfs dash dev dash cli. Icicle Kit is shipped with a core image minimal written into the EMMC. Now we would like to build an image with development tools, so we chose this particular image. Runtime depends heavily on how many processors can run in parallel. So now we can go have a cup of tea while we wait for the process to finish. Now that the build process has finished, we can examine the build folder. In the deploy folder, we will find the image related to each machine and .wic image that we will use to write the EMMC on the Icicle Kit. There is also a compressed version with a smaller footprint. In our next video, we will finish the demonstration and boot our brand new Yocto generated image onto the Icicle Kit.